guys, so I am doing another Lux Curves review, except this time I'm gonna be using the short torso waist trainer to see how that works for me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Leslie, where representation matters, and today I am representing you. And I'm really super excited for this review because I have done multiple waist trainer videos. I've done the regular long torso waist trainer, the full back waist trainer, the difference between shapewear and waist training. But today is a very important video because I know having chichos or back fat I don't know if this is chichos back fat whatever you want to call it it makes it very difficult for the waist trainer to stop rolling it creates some issues in my life that I am here to transform today when I originally first looked into Lux curves they made it very clear like if you have a lot of back fat there's a chance that your waist trainer will roll and that a short trainer might be a little bit better but I still want the long torso trainer because I just wanted to get the regular one I wanted it to get from underneath my boobs to all the way underneath my stomach and it was very important I thought I needed a long torso trainer for that but come to find out you can still have that coverage down here with the short torso but at least I don't have to worry about the back fat rolling hopefully that is the goal this time I do have an XL waist trainer along with the extender just in case because to be quite honest I wasn't 100% sure what my size was yeah I'm really super excited to give this a shot because if this works better than the other waist trainer then I'm gonna be super duper excited and just keep in mind guys when I wear waist trainers it's usually under clothes that I want to look really flat in I'm not like one of those people who waist train every day however I do believe that waist training does work if you're consistent with your diet your exercise and you're consistent with wearing it every day I really do truly think that it works it's just that some people are lazy I'm not gonna say who or point any fingers just for clarity purposes I'm not wearing a bra because when I do waist train usually the couple times that I do do it it works better when you're not wearing a bra or if you're wearing like a sports bra so I used to I don't work from home anymore but I used to work from home so this was really easy for me to do to just not wear a bra and just waist train at my desk if you have a desk job you should still be able to do this I'll wear a sweater do whatever you gotta do it's not that big of a deal if you feel like uncomfortable not wearing a bra then you can wear a sports bra like I said previously or a regular bra but I'm not sure because this is my first time trying the short torso so if you're having trouble with the rolling this might be the fix that you're looking for so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and put the extender on and see if I need it I'm pretty sure I do need it but I'm gonna start there so I'll be right back I just opened up the extenders here and it comes like this it's just two separate extenders so I'm assuming that you do it on one side and then the other I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this now off camera I'm not gonna waste your time with me struggling through this so hopefully this shouldn't be an issue so I'll be right back okay so I actually only put one set of the extenders I didn't realize that was an option I only just put one extra row and I think that should be good enough you can do an extra I still have this one left over so if I need more I can I think this is a really good idea actually everybody should buy extenders with their waist trainer just in case I am a big advocate of that now that I'm seeing how it works but I think that this should be enough give let me go ahead and try to put it on in front of you I'm gonna be looking this way because I have a mirror right here to assist me okay so let's go ahead. Please keep in mind that there are instructions on how to do sizing on Lux Curves website. You can also head to their YouTube channel with any additional questions that you might have. They might be able to answer on their channel. But just please keep in mind that if you're waist training for the first time or if this is your first time ever putting on the Lux Curves waist trainer, you do want to try to get assistance from someone else other than yourself because it's a lot of work. It's really hard to put on the first time until you're used to it. So that is my PSA for you guys. Usually when I put it on, I start with it like right underneath my boob and I do the bottom one. I start from the bottom and then I go up. So yeah, this should be good. It's not supposed to be super duper easy to put on guys. So if it's too, if it goes on too easily, it's too big. So that's why I didn't put the other extender on. So I just need to get a grip. I'm touching it, it's just getting it to clip. All right, so I got the first clip on. If you saw my original video, you could see that it took me like 10 to 20 minutes the first time I ever put it on. But when you get used to it, you just learn. So just keep that in mind. I'm doing it fast because I'm used to it. But if you see my first video, you'll see the struggle beginning to end. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. 
The first one's the hardest part. The first, second, and third one, I think. I know I keep giving you information in the middle of me putting this on. Also, Lux Curves website does say to make sure that you wear a shirt underneath because that's how you keep it clean. It doesn't have like that rubber in the inside, so this is why I'm wearing a onesie. Now, you shouldn't wear a onesie if you plan on drinking a ton of water because you can't really take this off. The only thing you could do is lift it to the, move it to the side, which I wouldn't suggest. I'm just doing, I'm just wearing this for the video. But if you have like a tank top that you can wear, that's perfect, okay? You're not supposed to put it on your actual skin because it gets dirty and you can clean it, but it's just not as easy to clean. You can't just throw it in the washing machine. All right, so I have three on. I'm gonna keep going. So this is the tag. So ignore that, but I officially have the waist trainer on. I'm gonna go ahead and move it down a little bit because I would like it to cover my belly fat. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And then one of the tricks that I've learned is to just put your hand through the waist trainer, if you can, and just lift up your stomach fat. There we go. So now all my belly fat is right underneath here. And my, um, initial response to this is yeah i should have made this move a long time ago that's my initial mindset about it because although my waist starts here and i have a little bit of bulging there at least it's not rolling backwards because that was a huge issue when, with my first waist trainer is that i would not stop rolling now this is just set and it's just it's tight i probably could go another clip in and that's why I'm so happy that I have the extension here because I can kind of figure out what's right for me to start with but this is so comfortable oh my god this is probably the most comfortable I've ever been waist training and now I kind of feel like if you're a plus size woman with back fat you have to start with the short torso until you lose some weight I can I can live my whole life like this oh my god like this is so comfortable like what I was I did this wrong my whole life that's why it's so super important to use the recommendations of what the company advises you because when you try to do your own thing, you do it wrong, you can hurt yourself, you're not doing it right, you're uncomfortable, and then you get upset when it doesn't work out the way you want it to work out. This is literally, wow. And I just feel so much better. And if I was wearing a bra, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter because it just wouldn't because it's so low back there that I could wear a bra. Wow. So yes, is my back fat bulging out a little bit? Of course it is. Like, it's gonna bulge out no matter what because I have back fat. But if you really are focused on your waist and you're exercising and you're dieting regularly, you don't have to worry about the back fat for much longer, but this is the way to start. Honestly, if I've had any advice that I would ever get to anybody, if you're a plus size with a lot of back fat, start with the short torso trainer. Do not worry about the back rolls for now. Let's start here, diet and exercise, lose a little bit of fat, and then we can move on to the full, like the longer torso. I, this is the best decision I've ever made, is getting a short torso. I can sit like this, I can be comfortable, and if I wanted to, I know that this is actually the right size because getting my hand in here is kind of difficult. Once you can stick your whole hand in here, it's usually time for you to move up in the clips in size, but I feel good, I feel comfortable, I feel, I feel flat, it's just amazing. But yeah, as of right now, I am super duper happy with the results. <laughs> Of this I, I, I honestly I never felt so comfortable in my life I've had multiple multiple you should see in my closet I have so many waist trainers and this is the for the first time I felt like yeah you got it right girl so thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you Lux Curves for sending me the project and guys don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video peace